Hey everyone, it's Chad. I'm working through verifying the problems on a practice exam while studying for the MuleSoft Developer Certification. I found another interesting question that might get you if you're not paying close enough attention. I'm going to share my process of recreating a scenario in AnyPoint Studio, observing the output, and work through discovering the correct answer on my own. Pay close attention to the following diagram. Contained in both the For Each scope and the Batch Job scope is a Set Payload Transformer, which contains a data weave expression that will suspend processing and wait for the value contained in the payload to which it was fed. The block size of the Batch Job scope is set to 1. What is the order that the logged payload will be displayed in the console output from the For Each and Batch Job scopes? Pause the video and leave an answer in the comments for what you think the answer will be. Skip to the end of the video for the answer. Let's get started. First, we'll open a new project at any point studio and call it For Each vs. Batch. To begin, I'm going to drag an HTTP listener component in from the Mule palette onto the canvas. This will create a new flow with the listener component inside of it to be the trigger for that flow. Click on the component and create a basic HTTP listener configuration. The defaults are fine here. Now I'm going to select the base path with the slash and click back onto the canvas. The next item is a set payload transformer. I'm going to drag that into the process part of our flow and then set the value for the transformer to the array of numbers that we will feed into the for each subprocess for iteration. Now I use the search feature to find the for each subflow process and drag it into my flow. The for each process will need a set payload transformer. So I'll grab one of those from my favorites in the palette, and a logger component too. As the description suggested, the set payload transformer waits for an amount of time that is equal to the value of the payload that it received. I am going to need to write a data weave script here into the value settings to accomplish that goal. Inside the header, I need to import the wait function from the runtime module. Below that, I need to output some JSON that contains the string for each how long and the value of time that we waited so that we can observe the results. Then we wait for the number specified using the function which we imported. The next step is to have the logger component output the payload to the console. Then we create another set payload transformer containing, again, an array of numbers that we will feed into the batch job process for which we will use to work its iterations upon. Search in the palette for batch and grab the batch job core component and drag it into the flow after our payload. Fill the batch step process with a set payload and a logger component. Now we will repeat the process of adding the data weave script to this transformer. out JSON this time which contains the string batch job how long and the value received from the payload. Let's add the message from the payload into the logger component. Now at this time I'm gonna save my project and run. Let's watch 
launch the console output after I set an HTTP request to the localhost 8081 port. We can see that the order is 2,000, 200, 1,000, 100 for the first, and 4,000, 40, 3,000, 300. Well, that's one of the answers, but is it right? No. Right click on the canvas and stop the project. The question and diagram both show that the batch block size of the batch job process is 1. If you're not in the know, the default size is 100, and if you were not paying attention, you would have missed this. If we select the batch job process and change the value of the batch block size to 1, we will see that at this time the batch process outputs the values in a different way. Let's save and run the project again and see the results. After making sure to file save as and wait a sufficient amount of time for the project to redeploy, I'll make the request again. This time we can see that the values for the batch job process are different and come out instead in a different order of 40, 300, 3000, that is because now the batch job is now concurrently processing the steps that they all begin at the same time. Their endings will naturally be ordered. If the batch job size were to be left at its default 100 value, then a single process is handling all four of the values and must be sequentially processed one after the other. So the answer is C.